YouTube a uh, quick video here on the power supply that I plan on using for the GMRS repeater um, this is uh, I got a fuse uh, fuse holders here so we can hook up the cigarette lighter so we'll have that all fused even though the power supply does have built-in fuses uh, and uh, built-in shutdown this one does 30 amp and as you can see here, it's got an over voltage protection, over current protection, short circuit protection, and surge protected outputs. This is adjustable, so I can adjust it to the 13.8 volts that a lot of manufacturers are requiring uh, to run uh, their, in this case, uh, it's going to be a linear amplifier. I'm going to be using part as the repeater. Let's get this out of the box here. Um, I'm still waiting to get some more parts in. Uh, for my repeater but this right here has got an adjustable here and we'll see if we can kind of show you that right there's a pot that you can adjust the voltage this does not come with a power cord so you have to supply one you can take like an old computer uh, power, uh, power cord or an old uh, outlet strip and you know cut it off if you need to it's marked here on the hookups uh, ground, neutral, and line. So these three here are the ACN, and then these are the uh, minus and plus uh, for the uh, DC out. And like I said, there's an adjustment there that you can adjust the voltage. You put a voltmeter on there. This has got a fan built in that will kick on. Um, it even says here the, the power supply is built in fan on off control circuit. Fan automatically works according to working temperature. So this fan will only kick on when the temperature is a certain amount. Um, this manufacturer claims uh, 30 amp and we will see if I can find that here on the on the box here. It does not say here but it does say 30 amp um, I'll put on this. I'm checking here. I thought it was marked on here too. Oh, here it is. Right here. Hope you can see that. DC output 12 volt to 30 amp. So now, of course, they they're rating this power supply 30 amp, but I would say you wouldn't want to you know max it out at 30 amp. That you know I'd say go about 80 percent. Um, according to the specs for the repeater I'm getting, uh, including the linear amplifier, uh, I'm going to be looking at about 10 to, 10 to 15 amps. So this power supply should be able to handle it with no problem. Um, like I said, uh, I'm going to be uh, building this. I'm not going to show you soldering and all that stuff. I'm going to put this inline fuse in here. And we're also going to put a inline fuse, even though it might be reductant. But I'm going to put an inline fuse. Let me grab it here with my power cord. This, like I say, this is an old outlet strip. Uh, I just took the power cord off it. We'll also put a inline fuse. I'll solder, you know, solder all these and heat shrink them. But here's the, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a fitting on there, as you can see here, and then I'll solder put the heat shrink on there uh, but this is going to be the inline fuse for the uh, AC power cord so um, I'm waiting for my my repeater and my antenna on coax um, that's going to be a few more weeks with this uh, COVID uh, rise in COVID uh, there's some shipping delays that's what's happening um, the parts are in stock it's just that the shipping delays are, are making it take a little time before it gets here. Um, but I'll do a video. When I get all that, I will do a video. We're going to do wattage. We're going to do a lot of tests with this repeater. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of ways you can do this repeater thing. Uh, but I'm going to do this one particular way. And uh, we'll see how it works. So any questions, post them down below. And I'll be making another video as soon as I can. Thank you and have a good day.